All right. Um, hopefully everyone's doing all right here. I want to show you what we're going to start today. We're going to be doing Photoshop, but um, since I'm gone and Mr. Jabs knows a lot about um, Photoshop, I just wanted to start us off in PhotoP. PhotoP is a website that is Photoshop based, um, and it's their online version, so you can use your Chromebooks now. When you go to PhotoP, you'll see it. Here it is, PhotoP.com, right there. All right, so when you go, you're going to get a screen that looks just like this. The screen of PhotoP will have new project, open from computer, PSD templates, demo, so on and so forth, and all this down here. What we're going to go to is you're going to um, click on new project. Now, new project, you can break this down in some different things. You can, let's say you're making a Facebook cover page, you can click here and it'll make the exact size of that. Um, YouTube profile, I should probably do this because mine needs to be updated. There's your cover, Twitter, so on and so forth. You can see all the different ones here that you want. Well, what we're gonna do today is you can type this one, you can just type this one as your name. So I'm just gonna put Rich Teske. Now, once you have your name, right here to the right, you can see it says width and height. We're going to change this right there to inches. So once you switch to inches, it's going to give you some numbers right here. All you're going to do is you are going to make that 24 by 24. So when you're done, it should look like this. So Rich Teske, or of course your name, 24. Remember, switches to the inches by 24. White, yep, yep, and then we're going to create. So here we go. Here's what it looks like. Now, all I'm doing here is moving this up and down by using two fingers on my keypad. Okay, and then I'm just kind of zooming in here. Cont or, um, command or control, probably on a Chrome, but control plus and control minus zooms in. Okay, so I always like to be able to see my whole screen. All right, so in Photo P, it's exactly like Photoshop because it's made same company owns it. Um, we're just going to be looking at um, a couple of the simple features today. The first one that we're going to look at is right here. This is called text or the type tool. Two ways you can do this. You can go over here. You can click this. Oops. You can um, you can click it. Oops. oops, oops. I'm gonna, don't mind what I just did. So if I click this, okay. I'm just going to go on here. Now, once I look up here, you can see I have different fonts, about a million of them. So what I'm going to tell you is just pick one. So um, I'm going to pick this one. And I'm going to change the size right away. I'm just going to type 144. Okay. So now when I click, you can see it'll load that. And I am just going to type everyone. I think... Um, it paused when I did a command. So I'm going to redo what I just did so you can see it. Um, so I'm going to click text here. I'm going through, once I clicked it, I went and picked uh, something. I'm going to pick this one because it's kind of cool. Regular, I'm going to type this in as 100. I had 144. I'm going to make 160. 160. Okay. And then my color is there. So I'm just going to click. And then I'm just going to type. And I'm sorry, but once I got done typing, I will show you what that looks like. Once you get done um, typing, all you're going to do is click this little check mark. And once you click that check mark, um, it's going to go right here. Now, as I was saying, these you can kind of put these as my background is right here is a white sheet of paper. And whatever I stack on top of it are the different layers. So right now I have a white sheet of paper, but now I have this Richard Teske name on a separate sheet right above it. Um, to move this, you're going to go over here and you're going to use something called the move tool. Okay. The move tool is two things. We make sure we're not selected. A lot of these time, a lot of times when you do this, this isn't selected and auto select. If you auto select, it'll make your life easier. Now, I can click this and I can drag this if I go above 
Um, you can see here if I go above this, you can see I can turn it a little bit, whatever you want. Okay. So, and now even here, if you grab this, you can just change the size by doing this. Now, two things. When you look at this, if I hold down, um, I'm going to go back two spots here. Okay. When I resize something, if I hold down the shift button, it'll automatically resize it. Does that make sense? It won't let me do this. It won't let me kind of make it all funky. If I hold down the shift, it'll only resize it size the size or like perfect okay so once i have that i might click okay so there's my there's my name now what i'm going to have you do is i would like you to go through and put 15 different fonts of your name okay and one thing about Photoshop, the only way you get better at something is by just doing it over. So now I click text. I'm going to pick a different one here. Um, let's try this one. This one looks pretty, whoops. I didn't want to change that. So I want to do a whole new one. See, once I have that typed out, then I'm going to go through here. I can change this and you can see I just typed that out. And when I'm done, I finish it. And then um, I go up here is the move tool or V on your keyboard, which is shortcuts. And I'm going to have to make this a little smaller. And there's the next one. Now, um, one thing I do want to show you with this is once you have some fonts on there, what you're going to do next is, for example, I'm going to click on this one. You are then going to go down here to the bottom to this thing that says EFF, which is called effects. And what you're going to go to is you're going to go to blending options. Again, click on this. Make sure you have the V tool, the move tool. Click on that. Click EFF effects and then go blending options. So let's just give you a quick little tour here to each of the um, fonts that you're gonna do, the 15 different font names, what I would like you to do is go through these blending options and choose 15 different blending options. Um, it almost becomes like your signature mark on how you put stuff together in Photoshop. Everyone has a favorite font and the way they do stuff, it's kind of funny. So for example, watch this. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm going to bevel and emboss. So I'm going to show you the difference between those. You can see right now, not a big difference between that. Okay. Let's add some contour. You can see how it kind of shades it out. How about some texture to it? Okay. How about a stroke? Oh, that, that changed a lot. So now if I click on stroke here, you can see the size of it. You're like, oh, let's change the color of that stroke. Let's make it lime green. Okay. Um, and you can see I can make it more see-through. So that's how you're going to go through and change all those. Now you can sit here and mess around with these and kind of see which ones you like. Um, and if you click on each one individually, you get way more options. Okay. So you can see how you change stuff. And if I hit OK, now that one looks a lot different than it did before. So let's click on this one. Now, if I go to effects here again, I go to effects, blending options, bevel emboss is one of my favorite. You can see the difference between this watch. It just gives it a little more definition, you could say. Um, and you can blend this however you want. Opacity is how like how solid it is. You know, if you have 0% opacity, it means you can't see it. And there's 100. Um, fill. You can see you can run it in so it's more like static -y or however you want to call that. Um, but just kind of a neat way to kind of mess around. Now, if you mess up and you don't want it, um, just click out of it. Okay, just don't save it. And you can go, um, let's, uh, let's try satin. You can definitely see a difference there and what that looks like. And um, 
color overlay if you want a color that goes over the top of it. And again, if you click this, you can then change them, okay? So for your assignment today, what you're going to do is you are going to do 15 different fonts here. You can just be of your name. And then for each one, each one of those fonts that are different, so that means a different type, is you're going to make a different effect. And I'll be able to check right here. You can see Richard Teske effect. Okay, when you get done, um, and even if you don't get done by the end of the hour, I'm going to have you save and turn it in. And this is how you're going to do it. You're going to go to File. You are going to go Export As. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to do a JPEG. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not going to have you do a JPEG. I messed that up. Sorry. File, export as a PDF. That's what I want. And what you're going to do here, just click rasterize all. Okay. So PDF, rasterize all. Once you have this, you're going to click save. Now what you're going to do is it's going to save it down here. So it's going to save it to your Chromebook. Perfect. That'll work perfect. Um, I'll have an assignment drop off in Google Classroom that you can try. If you can't get it, just um, wait till Wednesday when I'm back and we can go over all that. Okay? Uh, Mr. Jabs will be able to help any way possible. Um, he knows Photoshop um, just as well as I do, so absolutely no, no issues there, so please ask him. Okay? Um, other than that, have a great day.